Hello, hello. So I hope you have listened to the introduction of the print perfumes, and I hope you gathered some, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> a little bit of knowledge about what is print perfumes. Have you seen my yellow rose? Yes, this is the same plant. But the thing is, I don't know, well, it just grew a little bit more orange just after two days. And this is still yellow. Yeah, this is the actual color when it bloomed. I don't know what happened to the... Aye. So, anyways, I'll get back to... I'll fix my <laughs> roots problem later. But this is my very small garden. And I am trying to give you some review. So, I have been honored getting some really good samples from the five samples from the print perfumes um, from our old factory club in Bangladesh and uh, I would love to give some reviews so the first one is Varwick what is Varwick? Varwick means wolf uh, the word Varwick actually came from uh, Sanskrit which is the language of India uh, my Bangla language also came from Sanskrit so I <laughs> I was quite surprised that somebody picked up uh, what do you call it somebody picked up a word from Sanskrit that is quite bold and daring so that that is what actually made me to dig into Prin Lomros. Prin Lomros, trust me is a quite interesting person I tried to find out his background but there is not much in the website as I said in the introduction but now I want to talk about a little bit of this perfume so this perfume will cost you $190 in full bottle they have 30 ml as the full bottle they do not have anything else you have to remember one thing this is artisanal perfume they don't have a lot uh, just like Aris Lidori if you are aware of this brand these kind of perfumes they don't make like stock unlimited they will make small batches because these are extraordinary ingredients and these are difficult to collect and very expensive so that's why these are made like that so what did they said about this Varwick or Wolf so this is uh, first I'll tell you what did they say in the website in the website they says this it is based on the nomadism of Mongolia and symbolic of the wolf in the Mongolian culture photograph of Hamid Sardar Afghami's dark havens so first I'll give you an idea who is Hamid Sardar Afghami so Hamid, Hamid uh, Mr. Hamid is a photographer traveler he uh, he achieved his uh, PhD degree from Harvard uh, in Sanskrit and uh, he's a super knowledgeable person he started to travel the world and his motto was uh, I mean his style of the photography was not really doing the telephoto lenses and uh, sitting uh, and getting the uh, shot from somewhere it's not like that he would live with the people especially the primitive people who were actually going, getting vanished from this world like a few days back he said in one of his um, interview back in cosmos i think that he was in burma and the people there used to be the primitive people who were used to face paint and the government banned on the face painting of the woman so that culture will be no more restored and uh, that's how er these kind of peoples what they were man maintaining the cultures are getting vanished so uh, he tried to capture whatever is left so if you open the picture what this one is based on the black uh, the dark haven uh, a Tibetan person, a guy, sitting on a black horse, and there is a hawk on his shoulder. My God, that is a breathtaking, no filter, no edit, nothing. Awesome picture. I mean, it is a lifetime to get that kind of shot. So I'll try to put the picture in here somewhere if I can. I mean, if I have enough time. So uh, now I just gave you an idea, and this picture actually inspired Prin to name this perfume Varwick so <clears throat> now I will come to how actually I felt when I smelled Varwick oh boy oh boy <laughs> this is a perfume is absolutely not for people like me because I'm a very typical nose I love sweet I love gourmand I love fresh but animalic is definitely not my thing this is a super animalic perfume siage and longevity is oh my god 100 out of 100 so if you don't like animalic I would say don't even spray on your hand or anywhere not even the cloth just spray on the tester strip because this is not going anywhere the notes it has the uh, by the way he didn't make the pyramid print didn't make the pyramid because he wanted to experience he wanted the people to experience the fun of the um, 
perfume, what he made and what he felt. So the first one is black pepper, labdanum, Thai oud, mirth, animal far accord, bee wax, cinnamon, leather, amber, Jatamansi. Jatamansi is a Himalayan uh, aromatic flower, super aromatic. You'll get the scent from quite far away. Oak moss, patchouli, cinnamon, bay leaf, castorinum, frankincense, frankincense is a type of incense, pine tar, tick oud, coffee absolute. So all these are very exotic and most of them, I mean, a couple of them you won't find in um, most of the fragrances uh, which are normally commercially produced, you won't find them. Uh, so these are exclusively collected. That's why these are called artisanal perfume. The first spray, when I sprayed it first time, it was really skunky because my nose is not... This is like, basically, this is a very masculine fragrance. This is not for women. It is so skunky when you first spray it. Later, after an hour, it takes a really long time to settle down. That's why I said if you're not used to with the animalic flavor or notes, uh, you shouldn't be spraying it on your hand first. That, that, because that is what we do. When we try something, we just spray on our hand or our wrist. Later, after an hour, when its smell got a little bit settled down on me, it had a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, sweetness. If I'm not wrong, uh, the patchouli and the bee wax, it was working from the behind the scene. Uh, Prince, uh, most of the perfume uh, heavily used, uh, the patchouli is heavily used, bee wax is heavily used, honey is heavily used. That's why his perfumes are so well crafted and so linear. I mean, whatever he wants to capture, it is there. Even after an hour, you'll find it's the same. So when it's fading away, let's say after three, four hours, when it's fading away, you'll still get the same uh, same scent. It's not going to change or it's not going anywhere or it's not showing you the pyramid. Like it's just the base perfume or something like that. So that's the beauty of the artisanal perfume that what you want to make the customer um, uh, feel, you, you'll get exactly like that. And of course, you have to pay for that. So this was my first experience with the Varwick. I told you this video is going to be long. So hold it there. The next one, let's see which one I want to take. Maybe I'll go on with the Burning Ben. By the way, <coughs> Varwick is from the Queen Perfumeries and Burning Ben is probably from the... Where is the Burning Ben? Okay. Burning Ben... Burning Ben is from Stranger Perfumes, I think. So Burning Ben, I need to see the price. Let me see the price. What is the price? The fixing up. So the burning ban is 30 ml is $80. And I, right at the moment, uh, I can see only 30 ml is available. Uh, 100 ml bottle is not available. So what did they say? Burning ban is a de parfum inspired by South Korean movie, Burning. And he took out the character named Ben. And what it said from this place, his Africa, uh, his, his places, his Africa, his hypocrite smiles and his secrets, unpredictable mystery and unknown. The film is not actually about LGBTIQ, a film, but there are questions, moments about Ben. And there is a moment that could be interpret a homophobia. Yeah, I told you, all of his perfume has a background. So this one has the beautiful story. Uh, and uh, Burning is a beautiful psychological thriller. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch. I have watched it long back. And he made his perfume Burning Ben from the name Ben, <laughs> uh, which is unpredictable, mystery and unknown. So let me tell you the notes first. The hay, absolute, plum, espresso, tobacco, hazelnut, leather, patchouli, incense, dark chocolate, tar, castorium, cognac, labdanum, bee wax, cherry, Amber, Old Spices, Javanol. I don't exactly remember what is Javanol. Um, uh, saffron, Burning Tire. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Burning Tire. Because I remember I heard one of the Prince um, interview. He said he loved the smoky smell. 
so he tried to put this here with the burning tire so this perfume is a perfect for yes the surprise is there this perfume is the perfect for a date night it is sweet it is woody it is bougie it's fresh at the same time it's fresh yes i don't know how did he do that but it's fresh i think print loves the pcholi green note as the base uh, maybe that's how he created them he played with it in most of his perfume and this perfume is a surprise it will start with the granny time perfume but later on it will layer you with every single note whatever it's there the tobacco you'll get a little bit of tobacco and the old time it will be bougie he makes a lot of perfume uh, with uh, alcohol and that's why these are so bougie but let's say the first one hour you'll get the bougie vibe but later on it will be layer by layer with the leather with the patchouli the incense the dark chocolate it is so binded with the dark chocolate which gives a very seductive romantic vibe like in a cold winter you sit with your dear one and having a very romantic chat maybe you're sitting in maldives it, it gave me the feeling you're sitting in maldives in a beach and set up a candlelight table and you're watching the waves of the uh, sea and the moon is out there trust me i exactly felt like <laughs> this and that's why it's like the ben character was a stalker i think it was about the stalking part i think he tried to bring out the romanticism out of the character so that is how he made it this is a uh, perfume uh, i think this is the one or the other one i forgot I think this is the perfume which actually reminded me about some other perfume of another one i think it reminded me same as a aris ladori perfume similar kind of building up so it is the quality of the ingredients when you compare with uh russian adams perfume you have to understand this is a high quality perfume beautifully crafted excellent for date night and it's a super unisex Which one I want to go for next? Huh, SM Cafe. It is also from the SM Cafe. Okay, SM Cafe, probably not the one which is, uh, what do you call it? Uh, which is the not linear perfume. Others the, up to now, Badwick and uh, the Burning Band, it is uh, linear, but this is not linear. This is SM Cafe. Um, SM Cafe, let me sorry for the background noise i'm so sorry 30 ml is 80 dollar and a little bit of story i want to i don't want to explain too much if you want to go to the website you can see that he explained print explained it as the erotic coffee shop now i'll tell you exactly what he said in a what do you call it uh, interview i don't remember the youtuber's name but it's a woman i think she's from probably russia or something and she's quite a famous one. She has a very good collection. She, in her interview, Prince said um, about this SM Cafe. He said it's about the perfume uh, where you can picture a woman, very sexy outfit, with a sexy outfit, sitting in a coffee shop, drinking freshly brewed coffee and whipping a naked man's tush. I mean, the, of course, the man is all of her life, man of her life. It's something like this. So extremely erotic. That's how he meant um, when I uh, let me tell you the notes: the coffee, absolute Russian leather, suede, javanol, lavender, amber, benzoin, tobacco, um, sage, cedarwood, atlas. I don't know what is that. Tonka bean, bee wax, maraschino, cherry, uh, pach pacholi, cashmere, rose. This is this has quite a bit strong coffee vibe, as you can understand. Oh my God, it's leaking. Uh, as you can understand this is about the cafe so this will have a strong coffee that gave me the uh, vibe of the first brewed coffee like you're brewing a coffee that beautiful strong smell in the morning that is what it is giving me so after it sets up then it start to tinkle with the leather with the sweat lavender tobacco i get the tobacco and uh, the coffee the most here and it is beautiful it is a beautiful I would say it is more likely to wear in the morning. Probably you will enjoy more. I mean, for me, I think it is a morning or daytime. Uh, when you go to the office, I think the way he explained, um, it's an erotic cafe, coffee, coffee shop. Uh, it's not like that, but it is quite fascinating. It creates a fascinating character when you wear them. I mean, you have to know how to wear it. 
So she, he said it's a sexy woman and wearing a sexy dress in the cafe, uh, drinking her coffee and <laughs> whipping. It's not like that. I mean, I can imagine, I can wear it uh, and I can wear a suit and going into an important meeting wearing my red lipstick and I can whip off all the stupid people around me and I can be super confident. This is what exactly I can explain you about it. Coffee and uh, tobacco and cherry is super, super uh, strong in this one. SM Coffee. The next one, I'll keep the last one uh, for my favorite one. Now I will check. I think I have, <clears throat> I have tried the cigar, cigar rum. The very first one, which I actually tried, cigar rum. So the cigar rum, cigar rum is from Prin. It's eighty dollar thirty ml and. What it said in the website about it, it's a Eau de Parfum, smoking cigar while drinking a dark rum in a bar somewhere in the Caribbean atmosphere. Caribbean atmosphere. So I'll tell you first, this was my first one, which I spread, no, so, sorry, the Vatowick was first. But this one, how did I fail? I'll tell you because I wrote a whole thing. So cigar rum, the first thing came in my mind after the first spray was old, O-L-D, old. Within 30 seconds, it turned into a sweet rum. It reminded me one of my friend who loves rum. Then it reminded me of 1800s cowboy bar. It gives the vibe of the savage sheriff is coming through the way two way flap door, flap door and the woman in the red sequin dress is getting ready for the night to sing on the stage. Seriously, after the first spray, I felt exactly like this. Quite a vibe, isn't it? The perfume is giving an absolute stunner for winter, this one. If in your country, my country is getting warmer, but if in your country it's still below 10 degrees, please buy this. You're going to enjoy. Rum and raisin are well played here. Super sweet perfume. I mean sweet, but not sugary sweet, but sweet perfume. Dry down reminded me of Rose Barberenza by Lonkom Private Line. But cigar rum surprisingly doesn't contain any flowers. Yes, it does feel like flowery, but it, there is no flower at all. The dried cherry is a great mix, I think. Amber is making the perfume bright. It's a linear perfume, well-balanced, bougie fragrance. But as a perfume user, I have to say that it's nothing unique. Even my mother had a similar smelling perfume about 40 years back. She, I can't remember the name exactly, neither my mother can, but she had the same perfume, same smell perfume, I remember. Uh, the bottle was gold and something big. Um, but these are even green, dark, boozy, even in the in those um, evergreen, dark, boozy perfume, which never gets off from the shelf. It is a, like that one. Unfortunately, my nose couldn't detect the tobacco, which I was eagerly waiting because it is cigar rum, right? So I should get some cigar. So the notes it has uh, rum, raisin, dry food, fruit, mandarin, amber, tobacco, oak, oud, uh, vetiver, raisins, labdanum, absolute and seaweed. As you know, booze never stays, so just after 10 minutes, the rum notes are away, vanishes, and the sweetness of the dried fruits stays. 40 plus adult will enjoy this one. Young knows a yet to understand. The crafting of this perfume, siage of is moderate. Longevity is moderate, stays three plus hours on skin. Yes, it smells different on skin and paper. So, I kept the last one, which I liked most. It's Antolia Antolia. So, if you go to the website of the print perfumeries, uh, you'll find there is one called Antolia Print, and this one is Antolia Antolia, double Antolia. So, let me tell you what is written here. I couldn't detect what is the difference, but I think the concentration has been given a bit boost. So, this said it's a pure perfume. Yay, that's why I loved it based on the same formula of Antolia Extrait de Parfum, which is double the concentration from the original one, 49% concentration. That's why I loved it most. So, it's $240. I think, uh, how, they didn't mention the bottle size, that's strange. Uh, based on the same formula, um, it has, it is surprising why I kept in the last. 
because the oud oil are collected from two sources. One is Thailand, another one is India. This is an extreme concentration of exotic olfactory journey to the ancient times. Same story, different results. Excellent explanation. Now, you can hear my explanation. This is a strange fragrance. The first sprayed smell like a cough syrup. Yes, exactly. Smell like a cough syrup. But just after a couple of moments, it became pure kitchen, Turkish kitchen, or more likely to use Turkish spice bazaar. If you know there is a spice bazaar in Turkey, it smells like that, just after 30 seconds. My nose doesn't like oud, but this is the first oud perfume. Prob probably I want to get a full bottle. It's so beautiful. A full dry drown will give you the smell of a very sophisticated... Cumin seeds are very strong. So, in this perfume, you'll get the patchouli, you'll get the cumin seeds, you'll get the cinnamon, honey, and incense. It is pretty critical perfume. Uh, I mean, critical in that sense, it will haunt you to understand what is it that I know. It has a strange magnetic attraction. This one is probably you have never smelled something similar before. Notes are Thai oud, Indian oud, leather, then locum. Locum is, I hope, you ha if you are lucky enough, you maybe you, uh, if you can get some locum, it's a traditional Turkish sweet made from fruits. Uh, locum, mm, suede, dates, honey, incense, cocoa powder, amber, apple, cinnamon, cumin seed, and patchouli. Gorgeous scent, gorgeous, more than gorgeous. So, <clears throat> if you want to um, enjoy a traditional Turkish spicy and uh, it is seductive, seriously. It will attract you to spray more, to smell. There are some perfumes, once you spray on your skin, you smell it again and again and again. This is a perfume total worth it i'm sure i want to get one full bottle because though i understand uh i don't know if it's possible to wear by uh, both male or female though prince said you can but i understand uh, after spraying some of his perfumes that these are totally masculine but this one yes i definitely want to get one full bottle because this is a perfume which you want to uh, spray on your hand and you want to smell it again and again and again so seductive so sweet and so good it will I mean for us we people who are from the warm countries we think about the vacation it gets us like we want to go into the colder place and the more spicier place <laughs> a different spicier so it gives me that vacation vibe so yes, it's a beautiful creation. If you go to go to the print website and uh, you'll find uh, there are many more interesting ones. I will uh, give you this, uh, I mean, I would suggest you, if you want to buy something from print, I would suggest you to do a little bit of research uh, because they gave you a little bit of the story behind of the creation of that perfume but uh, at the same time I think you need to research a bit more seriously so because his perfumes ha are very different very different to wear very different to feel you have to have a creative mind to understand Prince perfume yes that is how it is I'm not saying a I'm not really bragging about anything so yeah that's it um, I hope you like my rose so that's it from my side. If you have any more questions, I'm sure you have many, many questions. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> so yeah, that's it from my side. If I buy a new bottle, if I can get one, if it's not sold out here, um, definitely I'll get the Antolia Antolia. Thank you so much. See you again. Bye.